Good morning world. I am here to help you with how to write a book. So I have written six books. Four of them have been published and I'm working on another one. And so it occurred to me how I can help you write a book yourself without doing the writing myself. Okay, writing is one part of it. <laughs> but you know what is almost more important than the writing is the marketing. We'll get into that in a second. Um, but to write the thing, don't listen to anybody and don't even tell anybody you're writing a book because people can be very discouraging. So keep it to yourself and just start a regular writing practice. That's what I did and after five years I realized I could put a book together and I did and it got traditionally published and I even got an advance. So the main thing with writing a book is establishing a regular writing practice and I really see how that makes a difference because uh, lately I've been writing um, over a thousand words a day and it's really just to get in the flow. A lot of good ideas have come up but I was out of that practice for a while and I've been writing for 25 years. So the practice of it is key. A lot of people think they can just sit down and start writing a book. It doesn't really work that way with anybody I know that's a true writer worth their salt. Um, and you're a writer if you're writing. It doesn't matter if you've been published or not. If you're writing every day, you're a writer. So the thing is, you want to establish that practice. So that's number one of everyday writing. So don't, don't come up with excuses as to you don't have enough time. Because even if you had 10 minutes, you could get some good writing done in 10 minutes. And I've surprised myself. And just let your hand move across the page. Don't even think of it like, oh, I have to do this article on whatever. Just let yourself practice like you're practicing the saxophone. You're going to practice. Okay, so that's the major thing. Then, because it's a longer uh, thing, content that you're doing, um, you don't get the uplift of finishing until, you know, maybe a month or two later. If you Now, this is for Kindle publishing, but it's actually for any kind of publishing because once you get that book done and you start to think about how you want to get it out into the world, the marketing thing is totally different than what we're talking about here. And I can devote a whole video to that, the pleasures and potholes of publishing and promotion. So the thing is, you've got your practice going every day. And I would not be too hard on yourself. Like, start to um, read it. You can either read it the very next day to go over it. You'll be surprised at what you wrote. Or you can wait a few days and then just go through your writing. And if something stands out to you, what I do is I put that in bold. And sometimes that becomes the chapter title or the first sentence of the piece. Because you might be writing away and, and it's not until you get to the fifth paragraph that you really start writing. So... Don't be hard on yourself. Just let yourself go wild on the page. Okay, so the next thing after that is to really give yourself that sacred time to do your writing and not come up with excuses because you're going to come up with them. I still do after all these years. After two decades of writing, I'm still coming up with excuses. And guess what? None of them are valid because even with 10 minutes, you can write something. It just keeps your, you in the flow of writing. And then as you're doing that practice, it's going to come to you what kind of book you want to write. Um, it might be a humorous book. It might be a book on travel. It might be a book on a certain place. It'll come to you. So don't strangle that creative feeling inside you. You're going to get to it. Um, I've written screenplays, a stage play. Uh, tried to write a novel once that didn't work too well, but I did finish it. Um, and I'm more of a nonfiction writer, um, but I do like writing screenplays. And that just came about because I delved into my writing. So as you do your writing practice, it's going to come to you what you want to write about. You're just going to keep practicing and keep your hand moving and don't come up with ideas about why you should stop. 
about why you should go look in the refrigerator and see what's in there. Um, so those are the two main things I want to get to you about writing a book because it doesn't have to be so daunting. Um, don't think of it like, oh, this big thing you're going to do. Because actually with self-publishing now, a lot of it has to do with finishing the book and then the marketing. So I'm going to leave you with that. Tell me if you're trying to write a book, what things have worked for you in the comments below. And thank you everybody for subscribing and your likes and your comments. I really do appreciate having this YouTube family because I feel like I have a world of, I, I feel like I have this special club online and anybody can be a part of it, but there's some people that really interact with me that I so appreciate and everyone is welcome. So thank you and I'll see you in the next video.